been doing then, Brian? Last mm. seven years. Been writing, been doing some little gigs, uh, recording, producing that sort of caper. Oh, nothing really then. Well, first time I saw Diamond Head was at uh, London's Lyceum Ballroom. I think they were supporting Iron Maiden and Angel, which were also on the bill. They were in the middle of the of three band bill. Um, even though the volume was about approximately on a half, uh, they were really impressive. Sean Harris was a great frontman. Brian Tatler cranked up the old riffs like nobody's business. And I think I went away and interviewed them backstage. And in the subsequent article that I wrote, I said something like, uh, Diamond Head have got more great riffs in a single song than Black Sabbath had on their first four albums. What have you been doing the last seven years? Oh, this and that. Not much, really. Same here. I'm afraid. Been up the pub a few times. Well, we'll be back together again then. For the metal. You're right. For the metal. Firepower metal in it. Absolutely. Oh, really? What is that? This Firepower tour's going to be. When we go on tour, we should play the best firepower metal that's ever been played in Christendom. In Christendom, yeah, I like that. It's like a crusade, isn't it? Yeah. For the metal. <laughs> <laughs> what happened uh, in 79, 80, when there were a lot of really hot bands coming out of, uh, coming out of Britain, I would have personally pinpointed Diamond Head as the one most likely to succeed and most likely be still around today without having broken up or anything and be a real major multi-platinum act. Because we never split. What is firepower? Just as a matter of uh, discourse. Well, you've got power, and you've, oh, got and you've got fire, and you just put them together, <laughs> and it's kind of yeah, and doubly. Got... <laughs> <laughs> doubly. <laughs> Is that like that sound? <laughs> <laughs> doubly firepower. Doubly firepower. Yeah. You can't do metal in doubly, but you can do doubly firepower. <laughs> <laughs> Now that they've reformed, I think it's about bloody time they did. I think we can only hope that they can recreate the kind of thing they had going. But is it heavy? That's what they want to know. Is it heavy? Is it heavy? Heavy? You know, like heavy. It's heavy, <laughs> it's heavy metal, OK? <laughs> OK. <laughs> well, that's good then. I'd be glad to know that, be they? And I'm glad to know that, by the way. Yeah. I like it when it's heavy. You know, like uh, when you're rocking the nation with your doubly firepower. Mm. Bad intentions. No Morris dancing. No Morris dancing. <laughs> Did we wake up? We must have woken up and come to terms with it. We've been asleep all these years. You wouldn't have thought it, would you? It's time to get back on the road. Well, Diamond Head were a really important band. Um, I think probably the most important band out of the whole new wave of British heavy metal movement. More important than Iron Maiden, Sax and Def Leppard or whoever. Musically, you know, they, they were just streets ahead. So, uh, what have you been doing the last seven years? Me? <laughs> no, <him. laughs> no, sorry, Brian. <laughs> I just couldn't resist it. I can't 
can't help myself mm -hmm. One and one try, one chance, one eye So come on, let's fly on desire Tell you once won't tell you twice When the spirit moves the world We're gonna start a fire After all, they influenced people like Lars Ulrich to the point where he just had to form a band, you know, after having seen them. Um, it's a whole new ball game now. There's, a, there's a, a very different music scene these days than it was in the early 80s. Um, I hope Sean and Brian can do it because they've got the ability and I reckon they could carve themselves out a niche. Fingers crossed anyway. It's odd to sum up what you've been doing in seven years, <laughs> don't you think? In a stupid comical phrase.